Happy New Year and welcome to Illinois Corn TV with your agriculture news for your day. This week we will learn a little about FFA chapters who participated in an opportunity for water testing. We will learn about the Ag Census and we will celebrate the top six accomplishments of Illinois Corn in 2022. Well, Illinois Corn and Illinois Soybean Association partnered up on a hands-on learning opportunity for FFA chapters in Illinois called the Water Testing Initiative Challenge. This new educational program challenged students to sample water from different areas of the farm, then analyze the data with a report that included improvement suggestions and management changes with explanations on why it should change. The first place winners were the Highland FFA chapter. Second place was the Rock Ridge FFA chapter. Third place was the Salmonock Leland Sandwich chapter. And the fourth place was led by Cody Peterson of the Southeastern FFA chapter. Congratulations to all of the participating schools, staff, and students. Now, what is NAS? Why should farmers fill out the census? The Census of Agriculture provides the only source of uniform, comprehensive, and impartial agriculture data for every county in our nation. Through the Census of Agriculture, producers can show the nation the value and importance of agriculture and can influence decisions that will shape the future of U.S. agriculture. Let's turn to Mark Schlusner, Illinois State Statistician. My name is Mark Schleusener. I'm the state statistician for Illinois with USDA NAS. I've been working with NAS since 1984, so I guess you could say I'm a square peg in a square hole. It, it works for me. I've been located in five or maybe six different uh, locations around the country, and I've enjoyed the work that I do and the people that I meet as a NAS employee. Uh, NAS is the data collection arm for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. So we do a series of surveys every year to measure, uh, the, measure what's happening in agriculture, crop and livestock production, the commodity prices. In one year, we'll publish about 400 different reports from all states around the country. In addition to those surveys every year, every five years, NAS conducts the Census of Agriculture. And it has a lot more to do with, for instance, exotic livestock and lesser commodities. We also gather information on the farmers and ranchers themselves, the ones that, that are producing the food, fiber, and fuel that we need. So we get age, gender, and race information about the people that are running our farms and ranches. By now, all the farmers and ranchers in Illinois and across the country should have received a mailed questionnaire with a postage paid return envelope. Now, if you've already responded via the internet, thank you very much. That saved taxpayer dollars for postage and data entry, and you don't have to send back a hard copy in addition. For those of you who have not responded online, here's your chance to do so by mail. Please fill out the form, put it in the postage paid envelope, and send it back to us by February 6th, please. Well, now that 2023 is here, let's take a look at the top six accomplishments of Illinois corn. They worked very hard this year to position farmers and future generations for growth in agriculture. Thank you for tuning in today to Illinois Corn TV. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more agriculture news from Illinois Corn and the next video. We will see you next week with another episode. Have a great day.